check out this next video this mambo ya kuriwa wazee wanakaa kama dem kuna mzee alikuwa na ameva anauza mtumba na ameva kaa dem he was rewarded hey now you have a, you've been rewarded for dressing like a woman ule kenovia this is the guy that he's referring to bato me bato five come on let's start ngara waseme unapenda wa baba ngara waseme unapenda wa baba we don't give a mm about it baby ngara we kazi yako iwe kungara to kazi iwe kungara so this guy we hear you everyone has opinions everyone is entitled to their own opinions but everyone is entitled to respect people's hustles okay um what do i feel about this mutumba guy i'm sure you guys know this mutumba guy he's been on the airwaves like the whole of last week yeah and we'll do absolutely that right so i'm sure you guys have seen this guy Mm. Um, what this guy commented about him is it fair? Absolutely not. Why do I say this? Um, the way he's commenting, I'd like to assume that he's never walked around in a market area or places like Mutindwa. He's never done that, okay? Because if you have walked around certain areas, then you know that this that this is not me. You know that having guys who sell ladies clothing wearing them is nothing new in the market area. So why is it that when it's this particular guy who's winning right now doing it, all of a sudden it's nonsense? It's not fair. I mean, this guy is way much better than the people who are sitting doing nothing begging. I don't know, there's this mentality that people normally have towards Mtumba that is just sickening. People tend to belittle it. And one thing, the moment you learn to appreciate people's hustles, the moment you learn to know that people are hustling and people are looking for money in whichever way that they're going to make it, so long as it's decent, can you just let people be? So long as it's decent, can you just mind our own business? Can we just let people be? Now, let me try and break it up. In a market area, um, you don't have a dummy. You guys are over 30 people selling ladies' clothing. The nature of ladies walking around is that they walk in a rush, okay? But the moment I see something cute, I'm going to stand. I'm going to come and buy, okay? So, because there's no way you can have dummies in a marketplace to market your stuff. So, what do you do? You, as a guy selling ladies' clothing, just have to wear some of them so that you can be able to display them okay does that mean you're okay absolutely not it's just business okay so what this guy i'm not gonna mention names because i don't want anyone to come for me but they don't come for me imagine me choker don't come for me don't so what this guy said about this other guy is not fair is uncalled for and at most disrespectful it is just hassle and can you just respect people's hassle can you appreciate people's hassles please please well thank you for coming to my ted talk let me know in the comment section what do you guys think yani nawasha chances are high this guy is gonna go far he's gonna make it chances are very high his future is promising let's not be those kind of people wait for people to win then start calling them bro huh? don't don't let's not be those kind of people right now you're saying what he's doing is nonsense as in what the audacity really are we doing that nowadays are we calling people's hustles nonsense take some time and understand people's business walk around the market areas you're gonna see a lot of that so annoying let's normalize the habit of clapping for people until it's your turn because when it gets to your turn we're gonna clap for you so for now let's clap for this mutumba guy because what he's doing is good it is not nonsense let's normalize clapping for others it's just the way of life